Yo, what's up guys? It's Killer here. Well, not really Killer, but I'm Dark Slingshot, or Jax, you might know me as. So, Killer is having some technical difficulties recording this video, so I'm gonna be recording for him, but it's gonna be uploaded on his channel. So guys, what we're actually going to be doing is we're gonna be showing you how you can duplicate anything in Lumber Tycoon 2, and I actually mean everything. You can duplicate gifts, you can duplicate eyes, you can duplicate other things, you can duplicate wood, and you can duplicate axes, so you can have like unlimited end times axes and stuff like that. So Jack or Killer, he's gonna be person A, and I, Jax, am gonna be person B. You need to have two people, it only works with two people. You can do it on the same computer if you figure out a way to get like two Robloxes running, but that's kind of complicated. So first things first, person A is going to get a truck full of what you want to duplicate and they're gonna have a base phone in. Person B is gonna have literally nothing loaded in, like they need to have $20 as soon as they join the game, you know, just like that. So now you need to whitelist each other first thing. So I'll whitelist Killer and Killer will whitelist me. And then what Killer is going to do, or Person A is going to do, Person A is going to send exactly $80 to Person B. Now remember, it needs to be exactly $80, nothing more, nothing less, so Person B has exactly $100. Alright guys, so now he has sent it to me and I have exactly $100. So person A is going to take their truck full of stuff and they're going to go to the nearest slot that isn't loaded in. For example here, it needs to be the nearest one just so the truck doesn't like glitch out super far away. And then person B is going to go to the land store. They're going to talk to Ruben here and you're going to buy the land that the person A is near but yeah you cannot drive on the slot you cannot drive on the slot or else it'll glitch it out so you can see he's pretty close to it but he's not on it so i'm gonna buy this property right here and now i'm gonna have zero dollars and um you probably want to remove the sign just so you prevent glitches so i'm gonna go do that real quick until he drives on you guys of course you know you can do it with the sign on it but it's a lot easier to do it without the sign you know there's less glitches and it's just better that way so we're gonna remove the sign we're just gonna throw it, over, throw it over here. So now, person A, if you have axes, you're gonna drop all those axes. And person B is gonna pick up those axes just so they become theirs. So person A, walk away, yeah, in order to dupe them. So you know, you just pick them up and you drop them just so they become yours. You can also like equip them and drop them, but uh, it's a lot easier to just do this. And axes are very glitchy, so you know, you're probably gonna get some glitches. All right, so now once you've claimed all the axes, you're gonna get in the car and you're just gonna drive it back and forth just a few times so it like everything becomes yours this is person b and person b is gonna go to their menu and make sure you have a second slot that you can overwrite make sure this slot has nothing that you want on it and you're gonna click on that and you're gonna click overwrite slot and then click confirm so now what's gonna happen is person a who like owns all this stuff is gonna come back over here and they're gonna pick up all the axes Person B will take the truck back to the base just so it prevents glitches. So I'm going to take the truck back over here and I'll just park it right here. And then we're going to wait for person A who will come back over here and will drop all the axes on the base. Alright guys, so now person B is going to leave the game and make sure person A does not drop the axes. You cannot drop the axes until person B has left the game. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the game and then rejoin once person A has like dropped all the axes and you're all set. Alright guys, so now that person B is back in the game, you can load your slot up and you can see person A right over here, Killer, he has the car there and you can see he dropped all the axes. So I'm going to go to it, I'm going to click load slot, and your items should be there. It's going to take a second to load, and as you guys can see, the items are on my base. So we're going to take it back to the same place. It doesn't exactly need to be the same place, but it's more practical that way. So as you guys can see, it's going to take a second to load. You can see his items are still there, and they've, ag they've actually duplicated onto my base. Alright guys, so as you can see, the items duplicated. You can rewatch the video, you can see these are the exact same items. So we have these here, we have this gift here, which we can't open yet. But we have the eyes, we have the three eyes, I think it was, no, four eyes. And we have all the end times axes, the elf axe, maybe the beta, no, that's the beta axe. The rookery axe, the fire axes, you know, we got all that stuff. So now you can take it back to person A's base, or you could keep it here, you know, whatever you want. And you're pretty much all good, but of course, you know, you do need to whitelist them. So yeah, you can do whatever you want with the items now. It's completely up to you. 
And guys, I just want to say, if you did enjoy this video, subscribe to Killer. Make sure to subscribe to Killer. Like this video if it did work for you to show support to Killer, because it's amazing. This is like works really well. It's super easy to do. If you get the hang of it, you can probably do it in like three minutes. It's super fast, but I just want to do step by step so it's a little bit longer. So uh, yeah, we're going to end the video off here. But uh, yeah, you know, subscribe to Killer. Bye, guys.